It's me. Hello, welcome back. We were about. Did you hear that? I just heard like uh maybe a rat tata. It's in my house. No, um, we were about halfway through. Ye old. What is this? Dark cave. Just beware, Zuba is a blood sucker. Whoa, it's a little gruesome for a child ridden game. We should be good to go now that we have our boys all leveled up and such. The only thing that needs to be leveled up is Zubat. But we'll find the time and place for that. We'll, time, we'll find the time and place to level up that. Onwards and upwards. Did we? I think we went here already. Let's see. It gives you thief? A thief in the night? Maybe this is the wrong one. But I feel like we did go here. Paris! Man, I wish Paris was cool. Or good. I think he's very cool. He's got those space buns, dude. And he got them DSLs. Don't talk to me about what I just said. So, recently, I've been playing more Animal Crossing and such and decided to play it at 4 a.m. I'm playing this at about 6.50. I decided to play Animal Crossing at 4 a.m. You know, what's the big deal? What's the problem? And the problem is, everybody's gosh dang asleep at 4 a.m. because they're baby boomers and they go to sleep at a normal time and sleep through the night. Well, much to my chagrin, I was the midnight creep ah, and had to Dig a hole, dig a hole. And that was, that was my job for the night. I believe, and I don't know this for sure, I think there's a... Like a, um... An in-game thing that it's like, if you if they see that you're playing overnight a lot, they'll change their schedules. But that might be in the later games. So, we'll see. Also, I, I'm, I'm like half paying attention. I don't even need to pay, like, Venmo is so powerful. I don't even need to pay attention. Paral paralysis? It don't matter. It don't matter. But I should actually, should actually heal him in case we fight a Raticate or something of the like. This freaking, these pocket monsters, dude. Am I leveled up? Yeah, I am leveled up. I'm just gonna skirt. I'm gonna skirt a little bit. Yeah, we did fight this. Darn it all. I thought that's where Thief was. Maybe my my brain is deceiving me. If we fight Zubats, we'll uh we'll fight Zubats and skip the rest, because Zubats will get one shot. Also I should I should use a pot. A pot ion, a potion. I should use a potion because I don't need my boy getting one shot. We've already seen how that went last episode. We are also out of potions. Oh yeah, okay. So oh, that's fine. Now I haven't determined whether or not I'll grind a little bit off camera. Let me know. How you guys feel about off-camera grinding? I, I I might do it, just cause it won't take that long. And uh... oh, this is the guy that killed all our freaking Pokemon. It'll be better than just fighting the same thing over and over again. And again, I'm not gonna overlevel. I'm gonna try to max out the levels of each of my Pokemon to the levels of the next gym leader. And that's it. Try not to go over. I'm not. I don't have the thing pulled up now. Oh, let me move this back a little bit. I don't have the list pulled up now. But I'm sure you can understand why. We're we're pretty early in the game. We don't really need to know what Misty's levels are. I'm pretty sure Misty's highest level is 22. So we're good for a little for a little while. For a little bit, poker dot bikini. Ooh, hit yourself, please, sir. 
Alright, well, you live and you learn. You know what would be cool? Maybe we should do a, a, a mystery dungeon playthrough on the channel. I think that'd be pretty nice. If I had a way to do a capture card on the 3DS, I could do the 3DS one, which is the only one I haven't played. You need to go this way to get to Cerulean City. Alright, Robbie. Robbie knows it all. He's been through this cave a million times. I got a little uh, piece of trivia for you. So, like any normal human being, I took my air conditioner out. The one in my main room. Because I, I basically only have two rooms in my apartment. My main room, I took the air conditioner out. Probably a little late. Probably like late November. And it's been nice. It's been pleasant. You know, I don't have central heating, but I do have a heater. A fajita. A heat of fajita. You know, I was just about to say, if that didn't crit, we should switch in Zubat to get some experience. But, you know, it, you always get crits when you don't want them. Um, so I, I was talking to my girlfriend, and I was like, man, it's still so cold up here for some reason. And she was like, well, you freaking dingo. It's because in your other room, you have an air conditioner in there. And you just never took it out because it has a it has the blinds covering it, or the um the pieces of cloth that you attach to it. My brain doesn't work very good. It, it's covering it, and she's like, "Yeah, you, if you won't don't want to be freezing cold yet, so freaking frostbite on your nipples, then you got to take that stuff out." And I was like, "Oh my, wow, you this is why you're the brains." And you know what I did? You know what I did the very next day? You know what I did the very next day? Nothing. I didn't change a thing. I still have the air conditioner in, and I just... I look at it, and I'm like, man, I should really take that out. But that's... That's life, baby. That's life. Life is all about air conditioners. I'm executing for fossils here under Mount Moon. Sometimes Brock of Pewter City lends me a hand. This is the most nothing NPC of all time. Don't quote me on this. Let's switch to... Mizior Bidrail. What about Polt? Well, sorry to break the news to you, Polt is a weak little bastard. But soon he will become slightly less weak. Again, I, I don't know if I mentioned it, I don't think I can get Crobat in this game until you get the National Dex, which is post aced. Okay, we got, a, we got a tough battle. Let's hit those Fury attacks. Ooh, basically zero damage. Come on, the scent can't be that sweet. All I smell is farts and cheese pizza. Which is the, the scent of my my room. I've been told the room my room smells like men. Which, you know, it's meant as a negative, but you know. As a not very manly man, typically not attributed man-like qualities to, to be told that my room smells like man, you know? That's a that's got a little bit of a backhanded compliment feel to it. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that kind of are in the same similar boat as me, where you grew up and you were you were told to act like a man and, and do these manly things, but you know you're you're not really a you're not a man's man. You you play video games, yeah, you know I don't know other other things that are, aren't like you don't play football, you know. I've always grown up around women in my life. Strong women, A-type personality women, but women nonetheless. So I, I've obviously gained some female qualities. And but but then again, you know, I have had to be the man. Of, I've always been told I'm the man of the house, you know. And this isn't me coming out and saying I'm not a man. You know, I, I'm a I'm a man. I I consider myself a man, but I'm just saying like it's nice that in today's day and age. What a man means is different depending on the person. You know, I struggled being like, you know, if I was ever in a situation where I wasn't working and my girlfriend was, I'd be, I'd feel bad about myself. I'm like, I should be the man. I should be the one that uh, feeds my girlfriend. But it's like, it's like that's so, that's such an old way of thinking. Were we cavemen? 
like, yeah, that's the correct way of thinking if we were in 5000 BC, and it was like, Men must hunt! If men no hunt, men die. But people, you know, I, I just, in general, have a problem with tradition. And people seem to have stuck to that stigma years and years and years and years and years later, where they're like, men must hunt, women must take care of, kid. It's like, dog, we're in... We're in 2018, 2019. Who, you're not gonna go hunt some cattle. But of course, I don't know. I don't know if that'll ever change, but maybe it will. We're heading in an interesting direction regarding um, what sex people are. I'm interested to see how, where, where that goes. I think there's an underlying, like people are always, you know, they're always complaining about it and stuff, but I think there's an underlying positive for, you know, like the, the average white man, or the average man in general. I'm basically talking about myself. You know, I don't have to now grow up being like, I must play football. I must not wear makeup. You know, not that I've ever been super interested in makeup, but just having the option is nice. But maybe that's just me. Because... There, there's people like Gus Dapperton. People, some people like, I'm not gonna name names, but there are people that would look at them and be like, oh, what is he, uh, you know, what is he, gay? But I look at him and I'm like, I not necessarily envy him, but I think it's cool that he is able to express himself. He's got like colored hair and he does his own hair and he wears, you know, like nail polish and um, eyeshadow and stuff. And I talked to my girlfriend about this and I'm like, it's not necessarily that I want to wear those things, but it's nice to have the option too if I wanted to. That's it.